Good day everyone, we are working out this direct proportion question. The force F applied to an object is directly proportional to the extension E produced by that object. Represent this information as an equation in terms of F E and an appropriate constant K. So F is directly proportional to E, so we can write this like this. F is directly proportional to E, so that means F is equal to a constant K times e. So this is our equation. f is equal to a constant k times e. Part 2. The incomplete table below shows corresponding values of f and e. Using the equation obtained in c part 1 or otherwise, determine the value of x and y. So let's work out the value of k. So we are substituting values when f is equal to 8. So we using our equation f is equal to k times e. And when f is equal to 8, e is equal to 0 0.2. So this will be k times 0 0.2. So in order to work out k, we divide both sides by 0 0.2. k will be equal to 8 divided by 0 0.2 which is equal to 40. So we have now worked out the value of k. Let's work out the value of x now. So using f as 25 and e as x, we have we have our equation f is equal to 40 e now because we have worked out the value of k to be 40. So we substitute for k. And let's now substitute when f is equal to 25. 25 is equal to 40 times e, and this value is x, this value of e is x. So we divide both sides by 40 because we want to work out x, we'll have 25 or 40. We can reduce this to its lowest terms, so x will be equal to 525, 5, and 548, which is 0. 0.625 as a decimal when we divide 5 by 8. Let's work out the value of y now. So we use our equation f is equal to 40 times e. And when f is equal to y, y will be 40 times the value of e, which is 3.2. We will this out in our calculator. 40 times 3.2. And we get 128. So the answer is 128 for y. So the value of x is 0 0.625. The value of y is 128. Thanks for watching. Do have... A wonderful day.